everybody. Here is the final flip through of my uh, mini album. If you uh, want the whole tutorial, you can get it at my blog, mickeysmind.wordpress.com. And then you can follow this and all my art at my art Facebook page, Mickey's Niche. So, here's the cover, and I think it turned out really cute. I, I, uh, I love my girl and the feather. I just think it turned out really well. Uh, if I do say so myself, and I hope the person that gets it agrees. So, inside of the two covers, um, let me see about raising this up just a hair so maybe you can see both covers at once. There we go. It's just the regular black cardstock, although I have doodled in it so that it just kind of makes the black pop a little more. And it also really brings out the fact that uh, you can write on it in a white pen. You can also see the fun little ribbon sticking out of the top. Okay. So this that's just like the inside cover pages. Same thing here, I left it black for writing spots. This one's covered in the red paper with all the, the vintage stamps. And the other side is a tuck spot. I made a couple of those ATCs. I left them to be journaling cards so they are blank on the back. So once again, they can write on them and then just tuck them back in there. Uh, this was actually just scraps I had and I thought it was kind of fun. So I just put it in there as a little mini page. This is a fold out, so it's cute, but there's also a giant place to write. Uh, <clears throat> this was all scraps, and I think it makes a really cute and unique journaling spot. Then of course over here, we've got another giant tuck spot with its own tag, and the tag can be decorated with whatever the recipient wants. Turn in the page. This is a regular page, but I just added one of the decorative papers to make it a tuck spot. And then of course this one can just be decorated by whatever they use it for. Pocket and its tag. And I just doodled in there so that when the tag's out, it's really easy to see where it goes. Made a little half pocket here. And again, two ATC journaling cards that can be written on with white pen. A solid page they can put anything on. And a big journaling spot with my really fun page made out of just plain old scraps pocket page with an ATC and another pocket page with an ATC. completely covered page and then a big one for uh, journaling and then this one folds out so it's extra large for journaling and then one last little pocket or tuck spot with two more journaling cards the back page is just journaling spots and then the back cover you can journal in again it's all the the front and back covers are sealed with diamond glaze to make them durable so that you can actually use this take it with you throw it in the back whatever and it should be just fine i hope you've enjoyed this i hope you've made your own and i hope you follow me at mickeysmind.wordpress.com and mickeysnitch thanks everybody have a great day bye